On 15 October 1898, Dr. William Hatcher opened the doors of Fort Union Academy for its initial academic session with a student body of 19 students. In 1912, the school adopted a military structure, and the following year, the academy became an all-male institution and was renamed Fort Union Military Academy. The state flags posted around Fraley Circle today are a gift from the Alumni Association in honor of Colonel E.H. Gus Lacey, Jr., a former teacher, coach, administrator, and longtime friend of the academy. military structure, 14 cadets have participated in military parades for over 100 years. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of troops, Cadet Major Hadley White. Staff! All in. The staff for today's parade is comprised of cadet officers from Fort Union Military Academy. Present day military parades have their basis in both history and tradition the mass formation of troops on one long line at normal interval made possible the massing of firepower from muzzle-loaded muskets of yesterday. In those early days, the line of battle was just that, a line of two or three ranks and looked much like the parade formation that you are about to see today. The adjutant forms the line for battle. The cadet marching across the parade deck is Cadet Captain Nicholas De Giulio. He is a battalion adjutant and will very shortly give the command to begin the ceremony. In just a moment, the Corps of Cadets will be brought to attention. Please be prepared for the firing of the alumni cannon. In 1915, Earl Davis Gregory graduated from the academy. He was an active participant in the YMCA, Sunday School, the Centaurian Literary Society, and was a member of the Varsity Football Club. During World War I, Gregory became a sergeant in the U.S. Army and was assigned to the 116th Infantry of the 20th Division. He was presented the Congressional Medal of Honor at Camp Lee, Virginia, for conspicuous gallantry above and beyond the call of duty. Cadet Gregory was the first Virginian to receive the nation's highest military decoration. Plumas Junior School was officially formed in 1930. During the years the junior school operated, cadets as young as kindergartners attended. Over time, the program was slowly dwindled down to grades 6 through 8. The middle school was integrated into the upper school in 2015, including only grades 7 and 8. Retan Library was built in 1947 and was named for George Owen Retan, class of 1941. He enlisted into the U.S. Army in 1942 and became a member of the 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment. Retan was later killed during Operation Market Garden on September 17, 1944. The building is now referred to as Flag Hall because of the flags that line the upper balcony. Today the building is used for band and choir. In 1961, the Academy's drill team, the Hatcher Rifles, was renamed in order of George, in honor of George Retan, and is today known as the Retan Rifles. Henry Jackson arrived at Fort Union Military Academy in 1971 and quickly distinguished himself by his performance and was selected to be the first African-American officer in the Corps of Cadets. 
during his junior year, and Henry served as commander of Charming Company his senior year. In 1975, Henry O. Jackson became the first African American to graduate from Fort Union Military Academy. For the last 120 years, the Academy has stood strong. Many changes have taken place and accomplishments made. Young men have always experienced life-changing events and personal growth while at Puma. And thanks to lessons that these young men learn at this great Academy, they will continue to go out into the world and be forces for positive change. Ladies and gentlemen, now in formation is the Corps of Cadets of Fort Union Military Academy. Please rise for Lieutenant Colonel Tony Moss, Commandant of the Corps of Cadets of Fort Union Military Academy, who is accompanied by the Battalion Commander of Cadets, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Vincent Hatch. Lieutenant Colonel Moss was selected as our Commandant in July after retiring from the United States Army after over 20 years of active duty. He has participated in many operations and commanded combat units. Prior to his arrival at Fort Union, he most recently served at two senior military colleges, the University of North Georgia and the Citadel. Please stand and join us for a prayer, followed by the playing of the National Anthem. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pause before this ceremony today to give you thanks. As we celebrate Parents Day at Fort Union Military Academy, we give you thanks for the parents in our lives. But not just those who simply fit the basic definition of the word parents, but rather those men and women who have stepped up to the challenge of raising young people and helping them to grow physically, mentally, and spiritually. For many of us, the parents we honor today are biological. For some, they are adopted and for others they are mentors, teachers, and coaches. As those tasked with helping young people grow, we ask for your help, God. Help us to impart respect on all that we meet. Remind us of the power of a life of integrity. Instill in us a strong faith. Challenge us, O oh God, to live a life of good character and allow us to model discipline to those entrusted to us. Watch over all who are gathered here today, Lord. Wherever their journey may take them, please keep them safe. May your light shine before us to guide us every day of our lives. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.
Please be seated. The parade adjutant now presents the command to the commander of troops, indicating that the parade is formed. At the command, officers in color, center march. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. And following this, the unit commanders would pace about, return to their units, and pass the information on to their cadets. Joining Lieutenant Colonel Moss on the reviewing area in the reviewing area is Mrs. Sharman Brooks, the 2019-2020 Parent Association Chair and a class representative for the past five years. Mrs. Brooks has been serving her community for the past 26 years as a registered nurse and is currently an associate professor of nursing at Piedmont Virginia Community College. Sharman earned both her bachelor's and master's degrees in nursing from the University of Virginia and is currently working on her PhD which she will complete in 2021, the same year her son, Marcus Billingsley, graduates from Fort Union Military Academy. She is escorted to the reviewing area by Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Hatch. The Pass and Review is a long-standing military tradition dating back to when Baron von Steuben arrived at Valley Forge and reported to Washington during the American Revolution in 1778. Von Steuben's training technique was to create a model company, and one of the ways he did this was through drill and ceremony, which is still being used to this day. Upon his arrival at Valley Forge, the men were anything but a model company, that is to say until von Steuben was through with them. He developed what is known as the Regulations for the Orders and Discipline of the Troops of the United States of America, also known as the Blue Book. 
The passion review consists of several companies of cadets marching past the reviewing party for inspection purposes. On the command of eyes right, the cadets turn their head and eyes towards the ranking officer as they pass the reviewing party. During the pass and review, we ask that as the national colors pass before you, please rise. After they have passed, you may be seated. Battalion Staff, Executive Officer Major Hadley White, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Adjutant, Captain Nicholas DeGiulio, Roseville, Virginia. Provost, Captain Haron Zhu, Beijing, China. Activities Officer, First Lieutenant Marcus Billingsley, Palmyra, Virginia. Supply Officer, First Lieutenant Timothy Cooper, Dayton, Ohio. Public Affairs Officer, Captain Brennan Stone, Dillwyn, Virginia. Administrative Officer, First Lieutenant Fu Tan Vo, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Personnel Officer, Second Lieutenant Sung Woo Choi, Daegu, South Korea. Athletic Officer, First Lieutenant William Bryant, Lancaster, Virginia. Recruiting Officer, First Lieutenant Aaron Reese, Palmyra, Virginia. Public Affairs Officer, First Lieutenant Drew Leidig, Fort Union, Virginia. Alpha Company, Company Commander Captain Abdur Dasher, Lancaster, California. Platoon Leader, Second Lieutenant Harrison Ludwig, Glen Allen, Virginia. Platoon Leader, Second Lieutenant Gregory Heisen, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Platoon Leader, Second Lieutenant David Bell, Waldorf, Maryland. First Sergeant, Son Sean Siebel, Mosley, Virginia. Bravo Company, Company Commander Captain Xavier White, Elk Grove, California. Platoon Leader, 2nd Lieutenant Nicholas Lampro, Derry, New Hampshire. Platoon Leader, 2nd Lieutenant Jackson Manglemont, Palmyra, Virginia. Platoon Leader, 2nd Lieutenant Carter Crawford, Delaware, Ohio. Executive Officer, 1st Lieutenant Vaughn Messner, Fairfax, Virginia. Color Guard, supervised by Command Sergeant Major Jeff Montez, Norfolk, Virginia. Charlie Company, Company Commander Captain Carlton Ashby, Raleigh, North Carolina. Platoon Leader, Second Lieutenant Kirko Turkoff, Gainesville, Virginia. Recant Commander, First Lieutenant Andy Bowie, Santa Ana, California. Band Detachment Commander, First Lieutenant Jeffrey Zhang, Bethesda, Maryland. Executive Officer, First Lieutenant Abraham Ulrich, Knoxville, Tennessee. First Sergeant, Abdul Rahman El Bunya, Amon, Jordan. Delta Company, Company Commander Major Larry Elder, Richmond, Virginia. Executive Officer, Captain Caleb Moss, Dillwyn, Virginia. And serving as second platoon leader today, Battalion Logistics Officer, Captain John Corey Frazier, Palmyra, Virginia. the Fort Union Military Academy Marching Band, under the direction of Chief Bruce Patterson and led by Drum Major Cadet Michael Drayton of Charlie Company. And now a few announcements, followed by the announcement of the winner of our Parents Association, Raffle. Cadets who are checking out on leave will sign out with their TAC officers in their respective company area. All cadets must sign in by 7 p.m. on Monday evening. The day pass schedule will be posted in the Commandant's Department. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fort Union Military Academy Corps of Cadets thanks you for joining us for today's Parents Weekend Parade.
Matt Bird, please report to the press box. You are the winner of the Parents Association raffle. The Parents Association table is still open down at the Essie Center. If anyone would like to go down and support the Parents Association by purchasing some of the products they have on sale. Thank you, have a wonderful day, and safe travels.